guys, your boy Kenny Corey, man, and I want to show you guys what it's like to go brunch in out in Houston. Yeah. Along with Trill Young Wave, he's going to be dropping his car, be dropping mine. What's it called, 6 a.m.? No. We're going to this place called 6 a.m. Kitchen and Bar. Let's go check it out. Check the velocity, hope you can weather well through the storm. Peep out the carpet, it's custom stitched up in yarn. Hot as commodity, covered up, tear you in my lawn. Hold on to your faith when I need you to be there. Asking for your heart if it's real and it's round. Ocean in the sea, G I A I C. Lunchtime in Cheetah with Strobe and Divas. Only for me, this, this ain't for the relapse. Bubble like bench came with goggles, yeah. Gang of Korean, talk to me proper, yeah. Translator friend, European model, yeah. They covering my trend, top story, ESPN. So many chains like a turtle neck on my chin. I learned to speak another language if it makes sense. All right, guys, I ain't gonna lie. Brunch in Houston is probably one of the main reasons why people want to move to Houston in the first place. They see videos like the one I just created today, and they're like, dang, like, I gotta move to that city. And I can't blame you. Today I went to 6 a.m. Kitchen and Bar. It's a restaurant on the southwest side, right off of uh, 59 South, 69 South, same highway. Um, and it's really easy to access it from multiple different angles, so it's not a hard restaurant to get to. They have they have a decent sized parking lot. You don't have to pay for parking, which in Houston is a rare thing, so that's dope. And on top of that, I went there with a group of people who are live, who like to have a good time. Houston Eat and Meet here in Houston. It's a Facebook group that I joined like a month or two ago. And it's really starting to pay off because I'm really starting to meet a lot of people and it's dope as heck. So of course I went there with my boy Trey Young Wavy. He's one of my homeboys on the YouTube game who's also trying to get his subscribers up. So make sure you guys subscribe to him. When you first walk into the restaurant, you're greeted by like a waitress or two. Um, the, the restaurant is shaped as like a long rectangle. And basically they have like booth seating on both sides and a walk path in the middle of the club. But even in the middle, there's like a row of tables going all the way towards the back. In the very back, there's a bar and then close to the front when you where you enter, there's a, like a little stage with the DJ up there on the stage. The food was on point. And I'm gonna tell y'all straight up, this isn't gonna be that long of a vlog because the food was dope. I don't have too many bad things to say and I guess I wouldn't say that having a bunch of bad things to say would make the video just longer, but it's just a quick, easy video because it's a good place. I would definitely recommend it. It wasn't too crowded. You know, we went there on a Sunday at 12, which is when the brunch started. So maybe if you guys want to get the type of vibe that we had being there, then you might want to go there on the same day, same time. As far as for me and what I ate, I got the chicken and waffles with the strawberries on the side, and it was dope. Uh, I also just ordered the lemonade. There's a lot of people there ordering mimosas, and there was all kind of shots that you could take. Like the people I was with in the booth that I was with, man, they just kept giving a shot after shot. So it it was it turned out to be a pretty good little situation. I'm not gonna lie, I was definitely having fun. The hookah was on point as well. The guy, the hookah man that comes out and checks the hookah, he came back frequently. We didn't have to look for him. So that's also a good look too. The waitress was pretty cool as well. I mean, all in all, I can say that 6 a.m. Kitchen and Bar is a dope little spot. If you guys just heard about it or you want to experience it for yourself, I would recommend it. Also, if you guys are looking for any other places in Houston, other things to do, brunches or hookah bars, nightlife, I'm pretty much like the nightlife concierge in Houston right now. You come to my page and you can find all the things and all the places to go, honestly. And I got visuals for them and I pretty much review it. So you guys should start checking out a few of my other videos as well. I appreciate everybody who just found this video and seen me for the first time. If you like this video and you learned something, uh, make sure you like and comment. If this isn't your first time seeing me, then maybe you should subscribe to me because, you know, I'm just saying, clearly I'm making some things that you want to see and you don't want to keep missing out on the drops that I'm creating every time I drop it. So, like this one right here. But anyway, with that said, man, like I said, this was a short vlog. I'm about to go hit the gym before it gets too late. I got to also go to work right after this. And I'll see you guys later. Later on in, in the week, I got invited to like a birthday party. And uh, some people want me to like videotape their birthday party slash have a good time as well. So later on in the week, there should definitely be some more footage coming from, coming from another place in Houston that I haven't heard of yet either. Appreciate you guys supporting me and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Thank you.